Hello everyone, it's Mark and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why the Baker Act is a fool's paradise. Fool's paradise. Um, so let me uh, share a story with you so, so you can understand what I'm talking about. So about a week ago, I had a call from a mother whose son had been Baker Acted. And uh, he had been Baker Acted to a facility I was very familiar with. In fact, at this point after... I think we've handled close to 300 cases somewhere in that region. There's, I don't think there's any facilities that we're not familiar with in terms of, you know, that we haven't litigated against them before, which is good because it means we know how they function, we know the red flags, and we know the folks there, right, which is good for you. And also, if they have a law firm that represents them, we know who the law firm is, which helps us to get things done really, really quickly. So her son had been taken there for, uh, for medical reasons, and I think by the time we spoke, he had been, uh, or she had, the, the mother had been advised that he'd been medically cleared. And I said, well, okay, if he's medically cleared, uh, why is he still there? Well, he's uh, he's been Baker acted. I said, okay, well, if he's been Baker acted, um, then uh, he's going to be stuck there probably for at least 72 hours. And, and her response was, well, you know, I've spoken to the doctor and it sounds like it's going to get lifted. And I said, okay, great. So I think a day or two went past. Uh, I, I spoke to the mother again. And she indicated that her son, um, although the, he, she had been advised that the Baker Act had been lifted, he was now being moved to the, to the behavioral health unit of the, the hospital. And I said, well, if the Baker Act has been lifted, why is he being transferred to the behavioral health unit of the hospital? Well, I don't know. I don't know what is. I said, well, I'm familiar with that hospital. I'm familiar with the behavioral health unit. And either the doctor is lying to you or he or she doesn't know what they're talking about. Because if your son is being transferred to the behavioral health unit, it's because he's still Baker acted. And her response was, no, he's not Baker acted. I said, well then, okay, go, go collect him and take him home. Oh no, I can't do that. I said, well then, that's, then he's been Baker acted. He's still Baker acted. So, you know, um, she was adamant that uh, the Baker act had been lifted. That's what she had been advised by the doctor. So a day or two went past again, and I, uh, I spoke to her and I said, well, what's happening? Oh, they've re-Baker acted him. And I said, there's no such thing as being re-Baker acted. It's a one-shot deal. You're either Baker acted or you're not. The facility's either um, filed a petition to, to keep him or they haven't. Uh, he's either voluntary or he's involuntary. But the whole idea of, quote, being re-Baker acted, and I have a whole separate video on that, uh, that's uh, a figment of someone's imagination. And again, she balked at my, uh, my counsel. I said, look, you need to do something. He's going to get stuck there. They're going to get a court order. Um, and she, she she didn't want to hear it. So another few days go by, I touch base with her again. And this time she tells me that um, the doctor has, the doctor had lifted the Baker Act, but now he's reimposed it and it's been extended. And I said, look, all of these things are just not true. You're either being lied to or um, somebody doesn't know what they're talking about. All these things, extending the Baker Act, re-Baker Acting, uh, they they simply don't exist. They 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 are they're just not they're not possible. Okay, legally possible. It's a one shot deal, right? It's a one shot deal with the Baker Act, um, and so I I let her be. Um, and I called back a couple of days later. Now I think we're you know seven, eight, nine days into this thing, and I said, okay, are you ready to to move forward? And she said, no, no, no. I spoke to a woman at an agency, and she said, I don't need you. You spoke to a woman at an agency. Well, which agency? I don't remember which one. She's going to help me, though. Is she a lawyer? No, no, she's a woman at an agency. And at that point, I just scratched my head. I said, look, you need legal counsel. I spoke to another lawyer. And he said I should just wait. I said, well, how many, how many Baker Act cases has this lawyer handled? I don't know. And he didn't have anything nice to say about you either. I said, well, <laughs> you know, there's plenty of lawyers out there who don't have anything to say, nice to say about me, but... They're the same lawyers who call me when they're, they have a client who's in Baker Act because they don't know how to handle these cases. And he told you to wait? Well, it's now been, and I think yesterday it was eight days. I said, it's been eight days. The time for waiting has long since passed. You need to take action. I said, I am telling you, I am familiar with this facility. I've litigate, litigated against them many, many times. I know the folks that work there. I know the clinical doctor. I am telling you that your son is going to get stuck there. I said, if they haven't filed already, and I suspect they probably have to extend his detention, I said, they're going to do so. No, no, I, I've spoken to this lawyer. We're going to speak to the doctor this afternoon. And so, you know, I think I'm, I'm done, right? I, I think we're done at this point. Um, clearly, um, she thinks that she knows better than me. She's speaking to people that clearly have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. Zero. And so, 
this is this is the 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 fool's paradise of the Baker Act. Now I'm not telling you you got to hire me, right? I am telling you you need to speak to somebody who knows what they're talking about. Now if you go on my website, there are literally hundreds of hours of video you can that'll tell you all about the Baker Act, all the red flags. There's there's videos on YouTube, on Vimeo, on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter. I mean, I put this stuff everywhere. Okay, I have a book on the website. It's all for free. I spend hours, just like I am now. I spend hours producing this content so that you can get the information that you need, and so you don't waste time with people who clearly are intending to mislead you or simply don't know what they're talking about. Okay, so when I say that the Baker Act is a fool's paradise, this is what I mean. It is a fool's paradise. Anyway, with that said, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye bye.